Hurrah, hurrah, the ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah, I, I, childhood memories, that song always brings back. So anyway, today, uh, welcome to the shop, uh, before I forget to say that, today uh, a huge amount of sharpening uh, just fell into my lap. A friend of mine responded to the last video where I said, I need work. Uh, I still need work, just FYI. <laughs> Um, and brought me a pile of shears, sh gardening shears to sharpen, um, which will give me an excuse to use uh, a couple of my more obscure stones, different shapes, uh, and there are a lot of different garden shears here. So there's this type, which are big, they got the big handles. Um, and then there's the limbing shears. Wow! which make me happy um and then there's some some more of this type which you know they they're not they're not too bad but they're they're definitely bad um and then there's <clears throat> a whole pile of uh smaller gardening these are my my favorite type to sharpen and even though these ones are weird because they have the the spring loaded do focus on them so they I, I don't know you let's see if I can get, get enough hands free so they they have this like relief on the blade uh, which is from a spring right here um, which are cool these are my favorite types of shears not not necessarily these ones I I have a set that I've saved for a long time that are just amazing so I use them when I'm out in the woods uh, hunting mushrooms yeah so whatever to each their own um, and then I have these little guys uh, which the the spring mechanism that holds them closed is messed up so I'll probably get around to making another do funcus for these um, and these ones are really cool like they have a, they open them up but they they're a ratcheting type like look at these like not sure how those are going to work out as far as sharpening goes but still kind of cool um and then i have a, a another kind of pair of small limbing do funcuses that uh this shouldn't be too bad to sharpen so uh, it's the first time i've really taken time to sit down and look at them so that's the uh that's today's conundrum Thank you very much for bringing some work, and let's get right into it, I suppose. There's not much else to do but sharpen this stuff. Okay, before I get to sharpening all that stuff, uh, I've been working my way around trying to sort out making V-blocks, uh, of all things. Uh, and I, I found this tool, so 45 degree cutter, and ordered it in and I'm real curious to see how it works because if it works correctly it should save me <laughs> several hundred dollars uh, in having to buy tools and tooling uh, for the mill and that'll kind of excite me in the meantime I'm gonna finish my break and uh, get into sharpening this uh, pretty remarkable quantity of now, now I, I just I'm going to have to sit around and dream about shearing things alright starting with the uh, the ones that require the most work right off the bat let's see I'm probably going to need two crescent wrenches as it sits which is kind of unusual Top shear. Look at that. That's that's just a a neato kind of kind of do funcus. So make sure that these are all fastened in there pretty good. They are. 
Um, and I'm gonna go back over to the wire wheel and polish these guys up because uh, the wire wheel is kind of where you gotta go to polish metal stuff. I would. Ah. Yeah. So anyway, you know, like working with metal is kind of cool because you can fantasize about things. Like, you get to be a like a twelve-year-old kid again in in the shop, like at all times. So anyway, um, I'm back over to the wire wheel and polishing. Uh, and still haven't gotten to sharpening. <laughs> okay, not entirely sure about the best angle, but these and all the other ones, I suppose, need to have the scale and dirt and stuff knocked off of them. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, I've gone through two pairs so far. This par pair also needed to be disassembled. Um, and I'll be taking it over to the wire wheel to clean it all up, up before I sharpen it. So uh, I suppose I'm just going to keep rolling and uh, work it out later. And that, my friends, is also a pretty good, let's see if I can get it in the shot, <laughs> get both sides of it, pretty good blade. So I'm going to pause while I assemble it and then move on to the next one. So I left that other one down uh, to the place where lubrication needs to be done on, to re reassemble them. Re reassemble them. Um, and I moved on to just sharpening these little guys because I don't see a need to pull these shears completely apart to sharpen them. And these ones are going to require some fabrication work and I am going to take them apart uh, to accomplish that. So, uh, I'll bring you back eventually for that. These guys are essentially a pair of scissors, um, which is super fantastic for me because they're, they're just shears. Um, and I can see why the, the individual who gave me these wants them to uh, seal closed. Like, these things are, when they're sharp, I'd wager they're pretty darn not friendly. So... Let's, uh... <laughs> A little do fungus this this little tab down this little tab down here let's see if I can get it in the picture so <laughs> this little tab down here right broke uh, which was part of this little do fungus which 
I'd wager originally helped keep them closed uh, and we don't have that option anymore because it's broken so uh, and this is the last pair of shears to be sharpened then it's just all about oiling and lubrication and putting them back together so let me get these there we go now they're back together at least uh, and that's right there's a little spring do fungus that goes in here Oh my. That's quite a difference. Um, and then to make something to hold them closed that's a little better than a rubber band. Um, and I think I'll move the camera. So that brings today's adventure to a somewhat anticlimactic yet exciting end. Um, I hope to see you next time. Uh, think about liking and subscribing and I'll talk to you then.